I always wanted to live in a quirky old house. This is another one of the big classrooms. Never in my wildest dreams would I have found this quirky of a house. Animals in here. Yeah. On the township line between Nineveh and Franklin sits Stacy Grissom's dream home. I mean, I remember this school when I was a little kid driving by here. Stacy and husband Sean Wilson, high school sweethearts. We grew up here in Franklin. Whose careers brought them to the Big Apple are coming back home with two kids in tow to a project to turn this old schoolhouse into their home sweet home. How did you learn about this space, that it was available, that it was even a possibility? Stacy got an email from her realtor. The subject line was, don't judge me. As she opened the listing, felt chills down her spine, jumping from her chair as she stared at a familiar facade. Like that school is for sale. Her parents popping by the property with her dad realizing her renovation dream. This is doable. I was like, okay, <laughs> here's all my savings. We bought it without seeing it ourselves. <laughs> Nearly 10,000 square feet of space. These two rooms right here used to be the pail rooms for the kids. That's where they'd like hang their coats. Needing a new roof, new windows, new life with a nod to the past. What's kind of the history behind this place? So the school was built in 1914. A trip to the Johnson County Museum uncovered photos from Union Joint Graded School Number 9, serving students for 20 years, and stories from neighbors who attended school here helped Stacy piece together history. Horses and wagons dropping off the kids, and then by the end of it, there were trucks. Then the building was a barn. And apparently turkeys were actually kept in the living room. We've claimed the turkey as our mascot. We've made a bunch of like shirts for the kids. This is the Union Joint Graded School, home of the gobblers. <laughs> and more recently housed apartments. Previous owners, you know, also loved it and yeah. kept it alive so that we can continue. It's a massive undertaking. We're trying to like honor the school with like design choices. So to help, she brought in a trusted expert <laughs> and childhood friend. I've known Stacy my whole life. And she knew I was really involved with historic buildings in town. In a shop dedicated to preserving history in downtown Franklin, Danny Kazi stays busy. And she called me up and said, we did this crazy thing and purchased this huge school building. Kazi not only is the director of Madison Street Salvage, an architectural salvage shop for the nonprofit Franklin Heritage Inc., he's also the creative force behind Kazi Design. I mean, they are definitely crazy for doing it, but they're the right type of people that are going to make it perfect. With his knowledge of historic facades, he creates digital renderings for projects like the schoolhouse homestead. It's going to be something that the community Community will be proud of helping Stacy and Sean visualize their future home. I mean, she's such a fun person, so I try to put their dog in the picture. For these Franklin friends, historic preservation is a shared passion. The greenest building is the building that's already built. There's just so much passion in, in Franklin for restoring things. Why is it important that we keep these old buildings and kind of bring them back to life? They mean something to to people. It is a building saved for you know, hopefully many more generations. In Johnson County, Lauren Casey, WRTV.